Hey everyone and welcome to the Splunk Beginner to Architect video course. I am Zeel and I am going to be your instructor throughout the course. Now uh, this is going to be the 11th course that is being launched and I am pretty excited for this. So let's get started. Now Splunk is one of the most popular log analyzing and monitoring tools which is available in the market. And one of the things that makes Splunk really popular is how easy it is to make things work in Splunk. Now I have used lot of other platforms and it does take huge amount of time to even build uh, some of the required uh, dashboards which are quite simple in use case perspective. Now if you look under the diagram, you have uh, data, it can be from servers, ADs, uh, various sensors, applications or any other machine data, you just put it to Splunk and with the help of few queries, uh, you will be able to uh, determine or get a very meaningful dashboards uh, from Splunk and this is the true beauty of Splunk. Now coming back to what this course is going to cover, we are going to begin from absolute scratch. That means that there are no prerequisites which are required for the course. So if you are new to Splunk and you want to start or you want to look for a course which will start from absolute ground zero, this is going to be the course for you. So we'll start from absolute scratch and we'll move to the advanced topics. Now looking into the index of the sections that we have throughout the course, uh, the first one is going to be introduction and we'll be setting up labs. So all of our lab setup that we'll be doing, it will be based on the Docker containers. So Docker is one of the uh, very booming technology in the market and a lot of organizations are now moving to the Docker based approach. So we'll be covering entire Splunk setup based on Docker containers. So not only you will learn Splunk, but you'll also uh, learn Docker throughout the way. Along with that, we'll then get started with Splunk once we have our lab set up ready. We'll move into the Splunk architecture. We'll cover the forwarder and user management, the post installation activities where we'll be looking into building dashboards with Splunk, the security primer and definitely the one of the most important part of the course which is building the high availability, uh, clustering and advanced uh, Splunk concepts. So uh, not only we are going to start with uh, basics of building dashboards and having events based on severity but we'll also look into how we can create a clustered setup uh, which is a perfect ideal architecture for the uh, enterprise based customers. So uh, this is the overview about our Splunk video course. I am pretty excited uh, for this course and I hope you are too. So with this we will conclude this video and I look forward to see you aboard.